people not only want entertainment or get entertainment, as Paul's suggesting. There's that's Paul and that's Paul also. Um, but I think, I think what Fox News has done is a very good job of speaking to one great big amen corner in the political spectrum. Um, I, I have to say, I, I have a very hard time thinking of Fox News as a great curatorial uh, organization for, for, uh, for news. But, um, but I think they're, they're giving an audience what it wants. They call it an audience. It is entertainment. It is entertainment. It speaks, it speaks very well, as does Rush Limbaugh, as does most of the AM dial, to a, a political constituency. And that constituency listens to itself and it grows around itself. And I, I think it's actually toxic. I think it's toxic in our, in our culture right now. Uh, I don't know what to do about it because it exists in the middle of a lot of other things I think that are really good that are a lot of other people talk. A lot of everybody's in a good position to bring news to everybody else and we're going to work it out in the long run. But in the meantime, um, you know, I'm, I, I'm, you know, I'm frankly disturbed that, 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 uh, that one political opinion one political constituency has uh, as, as good an organization feeding it as Fox does. And, and the Wall Street Journal, I subscribe to the Wall Street Journal. It's a, it's a great newspaper at the same time, and I, and I read the editorial section uh, every day, and I look at it and think, is, is there anything Obama does that's right? No, no, but it's interesting, and they do a good job of it, so what can I say? Well, do you have any idea what the self-identified political composition is of the audience for Fox? I assume it's Republican. No, 47% are independents. 47% are independents. Well, it, so there's that <laughs> fact. There's, there's the fact that just, do people pay for entertainment? Do they pay for the editorial what? section of the New York Times to read Maureen Dowd and Tom Friedman? Yeah. Fox so, does news. Let me just finish. Mm -hmm. Fox does news all day long, and in the evening, there's opinion. Their opinion, it's like reading the newspaper, okay? You agree or disagree, there are, fine, disagree. In 14 years, there hasn't been a story that's been taken down on the news side. Did you also know or did you read in the past month or so, and this did come from a blogger initially, and then there was a little more reporting on it, that the people, the reporters who are getting access to the more significant stories coming from the White House are those who are writing books about the Obama administration. You made a point. Sam, about the uh, uh, clothing company, you know, Ann having, Taylor, yeah. right, Ann Taylor. That's a version <laughs> of, in, in my opinion, that's a version of the Ann Taylor theory, where you're getting people who are, need the access to write the book, so they get the access, they write the book, they get the information to perpetu you know, to break the news first, you know, week to week in the process. It's a version, it's a very subtle version of the Ann Taylor blogger that you were talking about, but Doc, I would say before you suggest knowledge of what the audience is, you know, I'll, I'll be happy to give you the specifics of that. I'll right? be happy to get it, um, and I don't want to, um, I don't watch that much television, but what I've seen in Fox News looks to me like the amen corner for the Republican Party. Okay. So maybe it's not. Maybe you're telling me, I, I, I'd like to ask this, what percentage of, of, of the opinion on Fox, which gets a lot of audience, does it not, is, is fair and balanced, let's say. What percentage of it is that, of the, of the output is? What percentage of the opinion? Okay, all right. Are, we're that, not that's kind of hard Could I put a forward spin on this? I, I, I want to put I, um, a forward spin on this because I'd like to cause cause really what we're talking about, like really what we're talking about, yeah. the reason there used to be three and four, you know, or multiple daily newspapers was because, in a single market, was because they were speaking to their specific audience. And I think that that's what we're starting to see or what we are seeing in, you know, uh, media. And I think that that's what we will continue to see further with the internet in, and, and bloggers or citizen journalism or uh, journalists or whatever you want to call it is the ability for folks to seek out and listen to what it is they already have a predisposition to agree with. 